starting here. I think that's good. Here. Is it possible to ask a brief question? Go ahead. Uh, from the skeptical side, I'm sorry, but how does one differentiate Hukalo from, let's say, SSP? Hukala from SSP. What is SSP? Secret Space Program. Oh, got it. Okay, uh, Hukala is uh, basically it's it's a community of, of us here, down here, down below. We are not there in the space. We are uh, a community of light workers who speak to uh, who channel, and we usually channel. You know, our main channeler is Jim, and he channels Takur, and Takur is uh, with Gurkfitnir. So our main friends are in Gurkfitnir is an alliance of Pleiadians, Yael from Pleiades, Arcturians, um, Lyrans, and uh, friendly reptilians. I think they're called Lashunda. S and the Fendorians. Um, so and this is verifiable how? Say again? And oh. this is verifiable how? Oh, no, no, it's not verifiable. It's all channeled. It's all channeled. It's okay. not verifiable. So it's only experiential? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, only experiential. Well, there are a few proofs here and there, but uh, they're mostly personal. There is very few things which are, like, undeniable. One of them was... Um, we have that um, YouTube video where Jim channeled Bashar first. So Jim is a channeler, Bashar is an alien, and Jim's channeled Bashar. Bashar came for a few minutes and said that they start a new project, and described the project like in one in one sentence. And then we discovered that on another video, Bashar came through his usual channeler, Daryl and describe the same project in more sentences and i put the two videos side by side they called uh one oh, i think bashar speaks through two different channelers so look for that of that bashar speaks to, through two different channels on uh, and at hukali because it's on our channel and there they deliver the same message through different i mean it's just in a good illustration that it's not completely made up but but it's more a spiritual uh, process, that m phenomenon at the moment, rather than uh, physical. It's not it's not manifested as much. I had a couple of more or less physical experiences, and other people had a little bit of physical experiences. But it's um, it's really public. Like maybe this time we go together on the workshop. Maybe they will have some public event where they will present themselves to more people than one but uh, usually it's like one-on-one -on -one. people go to dreams and then they see each other doing something on the the other side another dimension but it's yeah it's still experiential it's more like people compare their experiences and find that they have common experiences but it still didn't manifest down below as much i'm Can sure that go ahead. sorry sorry um can other people channel to curb other than jim yeah yeah Takur because is, uh, I was under yeah. the impression that Jim was the only one who could channel Takur, and I wasn't sure if other people can no, as no. well. Takur doesn't, Jim doesn't have monopoly on Takur. She she goes through other people too. I heard other people channeling. Also, okay. um, Bashar kind of pre prefers to channel through Daryl, but you know he came through Jim just for a short period, a couple times. All right. So coming back to the answer. Um, so Secret Space Program is a completely different thing. It is um, hu humans from Earth in outer space, pretty physical in that dimension. I think they have trans-dimensional capacities, but they are there. And I'm pretty sure they are there in big numbers, as uh, Wilcock and others speak. So uh, the numbers which we channeled were smaller than Wilcock says. It's not millions, it's more like thousands, but still it's pretty pow powerful thing. Um, we, we channeled... I think maybe one or two beings, people, humans from, uh, we channel several humans from outer space, but they didn't say, I call them outer humans. Uh, they didn't say if they belong to secret space program or not. I think they are not. I think we had only one maybe person who, who was speaking. I don't think they would admit to it. I'm just intimating that my labs um, would not be, 
it, it, with regard to the 20 and back program, they were deceptive to the people they spoke to. And I'm just wondering if this is another deception. Okay, what's my lob? Um, military abductions okay. program, which took people um, sometimes consciously and intentionally on the promise that they would uh, age regress them at the end of 20 years in okay. service to them. And they're capable of some very sophisticated psychic stuff as well. Okay. And um, how would they be uh, decept de deceiving here? What would be the technology? What kind of channel through us? Um, I'm, they, they, what they would do and how it would appear to us might be two different things. But they've got very, very, very sophisticated, both personal as well as augmented technological um, capabilities because they're also in alliance with uh, other advanced civilizations that don't have our best interest in mind. Uh -huh. Got it. So, yeah, that's a possibility which I'm trying, continuously trying to exclude. So... There is a possibility that we channel not true aliens, but some sort of uh, fake, fake aliens, right? And um, how do we tell them apart? That's challenging, but um, usually, basically, you know, there is. I'm I'm much more conf confident that we we have, we channel pretty good with the the spirits and the, the angels and when we do those we have very positive uh, energetic experiences when we speak to aliens and uh, no, to spirits and gods and a angels and uh, a lot of healing is happening and a lot of synchronicities are happening which are very positive so when we work with those entities like archangel michael metatron and so on uh very good positive things happen so I, I'm pretty confident in this part. And then when we communicate with those entities through channeling, they confirm that uh, our aliens are real. And, um, and these aliens are also very helpful. So if it was humans, especially negative, there would be a lot of negative kind of bleed through, I would say, bleed through. Because it's, you know, we are intuitives and psychics. And if there was a human involved, with negative intentions who would mess up with our channelings that would show up and um even from sixth dimension sixth dimension uh sixth dimension they're not that bad guys they i mean if it depends how you count if, if we count that we are in the third uh the friendly aliens are in the fourth the fifth would be a partly embodied uh, spirits the six would be completely un, uh, disembodied spirit. So uh, these are usually pretty good. And no, no, I don't think there are any negative humans up, up that high. It's not a matter of humans. It's that the humans are aligned as a breakaway civilization with other entities, which may be, let's say, connected to six dimensional Orion. And uh, that's not human. And that could be negative. Because we're all dealing with more advanced entities than ourselves in our present state. Yeah, that's yeah. Pos that's possible. I would say, yeah, if there was some God messing up like Lucif Lucifer or some other huge uh, spirit who is capable of deception, then it's hard to, to capture them. But <clears throat> on the other hand, our uh, Takur, Disdu, uh, and few other entities and angels, they're pretty good with um, discerning that. Uh, my understanding is that we deal with pretty positive alliance. They have their own, <coughs> how would I say, their own uh, uh, not so positive, I would say, weird, weird components. <coughs> but uh, they, these are pretty obvious. They just don't understand humanness as well. <laughs> but uh, these this aliens which we talk to, they are pretty high <coughs> in development. They, they are multidimensional. So when I, I think they're, they're covering us pretty well. I think they know what they're doing. They, it's an alliance with uh, higher dimensional beings as well. So 
I think what happens is, <clears throat> yes, those those bad guys and higher dimensional negative entities have some influence on Earth, but uh, they divide the influence. The, the good guys and the bad guys divide divide the influence, and because we align ourselves with Gork Fitnir, we are their subjects and we are under their protection uh, to a certain extent. Un unless we kind of deviate from them, then we go into the open and we are up to taking and delusion but and deception. But as long as we are aligned with uh, and Angelics and Georg Fitnir, we're in good shape. That's my understanding. Because And they could protect us to a point, right? They could, they could protect, protect us, us as long as we are aligned with them. As if you decide that you are not in agreement with them, like for me, there was a case where I was disappointed about them not taking me to the to, to, to their ship. So I gave up on them and mo moved on my own. And that was a pretty dark moment. So at that point, they could capture you. The bad guys could could make a contract with you, basically. If you are open to making contract with them, then you're, in, you're screwed. But when I stepped away from Takur, I was still in very good alignment with my higher self, with uh, Angelics, uh, the, uh, with the God, you know, with their Divine Mother. So I was discarded only about part of the strategy of the Gurk Fitnir, but not with the spirit side. So if, if someone steps away from the spirit as well and from the angels, then they they can be, uh, you know, attracting the negative guys. So it's, it's yeah, because I, I noticed that with the group, like, like I'm going through some difficult times. And according to Takur and her team, they said, look, we cannot bring you to the ship, but you can visit us in your dreams whenever you like. So I'm like, OK, I'll go for that. You know, so I believe I'm still in good alliance with them. Because I'm like, okay, I'll I'll live with that request, you know. Uh, did you speak like directly, or was it through someone else? Can I like both ask a question? Which yes, go ahead. Ever. I had that once. I don't know. I kind of the voice is not right. I, I can hear you fine. Had once experience. Okay, thank you. In the past, when I ask. Um, for a private session with somebody whose name is Delilah Starr, and she was representing herself as one of these um, good aliens in human bodies, contactee, and so on, so, so on. So, um, very short, after this session, I was sick for a week because the energies she trust what she, she was doing to me and the energy she was giving to me was basically so bad that I ended up sick. So obviously this is this wasn't who she was representing herself. And with this group I happened to be an empath and I read Max's energy, I read other people's energies and I know that they are positive. So, same with um, aliens we are talking to. I know that they are, their intention is not to harm us at all, because I would feel it internally. Right, and same same feeling. I, I'm pretty intuitive. When I feel negativity, mm -hmm. um, it's um, it's coming through. Yeah, it's it's like skiing. You, yeah. you, on the fly, you feel, you feel the road, you're being guided, so... There is so much guidance in our lives. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we might seem to be like pretty simplistic humans, but there is a lot of intuitive work going on. And uh, can't, you ask, can't you ask for protection from something before you enter into something? Also, you have to give your consent. If, if you don't give your consent, then the, um, I believe it's the law of one comes into play at the point of you don't have my consent and I am a sovereign as a result you you don't have access to me exactly yeah that works all the time so like recently they said here is a dragon who wants to visit you and show up when you invite the aliens and I said sure the dragon is welcome as long as he is approved or they are approved by Gurkvitnir and Takur 
So, you know, I give uh, conditional consent. Yes, all, all positive aliens are welcome, but because my physical mind doesn't have the, enough information, I delegate that choice to our protection, protectors. Like when Jim channels, he channels lots of different entities. And after certain incidents, when negative entities were entering him, uh, they assigned a, a secretary to him, like a, a, an alien secretary or the filter guard who would uh, pre pre screen all the entities and um, make sure no, no negative entities come when he channel. So there is uh, always someone on the guard with Jim to to make sure there is no nobody enters his body negative. I also had very very often I have. Um, times when I catch negative energies and it takes me like sometimes takes a day, sometimes takes a week, sometimes takes a couple of weeks just to clear it out. It's uh, because we are playing something new and the energies are much bigger, you know, and they go bigger, bigger and bigger. It's uh, easier to, to get messed up. But lately I was very lucky. I like, I would catch something pretty nasty and then next morning it's like completely gone. So. I'm, uh, you know, I'm under go in good hands. I'm sure it's not, not fully my, not, not, no, it's not my achievement because normally I would be sick for a longer time. But you don't feel confident enough to ask, not so much higher self, but higher realms of self that you interface with, knowingly or unknowingly, to also add layers of protection to you. You see, I'm, uh, I'm an explorer, and. To me, it's uh, when you start thinking about protection, it is the idea that you are in danger and you amplify the idea of danger. And uh, I usually protect myself not with the idea of protection, but with the idea of the mission. So my mission is my protection. And I say, here I'm on a mission. I invite all the, all the help I can get and I'm moving forward with a certain mission which I carry, like higher mission. Like now we work on, say, on the earth grid. I have the support from whatever positive energies want us, the light workers, to upgrade the earth grid. So that's one of the biggest missions we have at the moment. It's like a planetary mission. And um, uh, we practice, we get used to the energies there like first time i did it was pretty messed up but i'm like now into several ceremonies down the road and it i get i get used to that and it becomes kind of second habit it's subconscious protection i don't really have have to pronounce every time i invite protection from such and such some people do that but just the word protection is not in my favorite vocabulary i am so focused on the positive action that protection is sort of kind of much secondary. I would say we work in such a way that we are in alignment with interests of everybody, including secret space program, including so-called cabal, including so-called uh, negatives. We help everybody to make the matrix more usable. The matrix is in crisis. And even negatives have trouble playing in it because it is in a crisis. It's like a big computer game which uh, has a lot of bugs in it. So we are administrators working on fixing the bugs and helping to the upgrade of the program. And it's in everybody's interest. That's my position in here. We are working in everybody's interest, so we don't need as much protection. You're the spiritual Red Cross. Okay. Uh, more like uh, system administrators who uh, you know upgrade the, the system. Red Cross is uh, still fixing the problems. We are upgrading, more like an upgrade. Yeah, fixing and upgrading. Yes. Okay. Shall we start? Oh, I think we already started. Just kind of a deviation. And I'm happy the questions are great. I didn't have that as many good questions in that direction as for a long time. So it's it's a pleasure to answer. I switched to a different mode now. Yeah, okay. Any more questions before we go into Yogananda part? You answered my concerns, so thank you. <laughs> uh <-huh. Yeah. clears throat> but yes, I like to keep around um, warriors. 
I really appre I'm not a warrior. I'm an explorer. But if there are any warriors around, warriors, then I really appreciate their um, their their warrior qualities. So it's nice to when you go on a mission. It's nice to have uh, partners who are capable of fighting with a strong uh, third chakra. Uh, on this physical and on on spiritual, so <clears throat> we have some like we have Grindel. If anything, we have Grindel who would, who would take care of that. Grindel is uh, a friendly reptilian with lots of uh, combat experience. He helps us to. Um, I think it's called called uh, spirit exaltation or exaltation exorcism. Exorcist. Okay, exorcist. Exorcist. Exorcization. How do you make that work? Uh, well, I, the simpler way would be to exorcise something, to yeah. remove. Yes. Yeah. Exorcization then. Exercising. Exorcising. Okay. So he does that. He does that. <laughs> Oh, my han 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 Om oh, my han 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 Om han 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 that would be uh, Yogananda through Max. Hello, everybody. Today's topic of the monologue is integration. Integration. You are familiar with the idea of quieting your mind. Meditation. Can you mute your microphones? Living in the now. And then you shift. Your consciousness shifts from the physical mind more into the spiritual side, in the side where there is no time. And you are very good in that. You are very good in meditating and shifting from the physical to the spiritual. It is... That is an echo coming. I need to click buttons. Mutin. Mutin. Mutiny. Okay, done. Ah. Oh. You are very good in living the physical, shifting away from physical into the spirit. It is an essential awakening. You have awakened to the spirit. You have awakened to your spirit nature. You have awakened to your divine energy. You have awakened to the realization of the illusionary spiritual nature of the reality that the physical reality is the dream and with that comes a caveat your perception of the physical becomes devalued you don't value the physical life as more as much anymore as much anymore i invite you to come back now as awakened beings to come back in the physical and integrate your spirit mind with a physical mind. We value the idea of the 3D reality. We value and appreciate 
the playground of the Matrix. We appreciate the great illusion, which is a playground for billions and many more souls. <clears throat> it is in a crisis, yes. But part of this crisis is an illusion as well. You are dreaming at all. You are dreaming your life. You are dreaming the whole reality of the 3D Earth. And when you dream up the words, they become real for you. It is in your power, realize, it is in your power to end the wars. Because it is your dream, your individual dream. So I invite you to dream up the positive future. It is within your power. So when there is a negative global event, such as Hmm. So I, unpleasant election, or even worse. It's in your power to stop it, in your dream, because it's all in your dream. It's all within you. It may sound unbelievable to you, and from certain perspective it is unbelievable. So when you are in your physical mind, you are small, helpless, uninformed, small, helpless, and uninformed. So in your physical mind, you are, you are a victim. You are weak. As you rise up in your spiritual frequency, You can see that there is a lot of help, a lot of energy, a lot of guidance, a lot of support, and, is, and you are not as little. And that you can actually influence things just through your meditations, through your soul work, through your emotional work, through your prayers, through your healing of the situation. It's all in your power. So that's the race from the third chakra to the fourth chakra, from the warrior sun energy to the heart, uh, heart compassion energy. So when you go into your heart energy, many things become possible. It is possible to heal your surroundings, to heal yourself and to heal others. Let's strengthen that statement with a short guided meditation. I invite you to relax. Relax, relax, relax. Trust yourself. Trust in safety of the environment. Breathe. Freely, breathe deeply, bring some magic air energy, gaseous energy, universal energy into your system. Breathe in deeply, slowly, consciously. Place your palm on your heart. And focus your being, focus your attention in the heart energy. Be it. Be it. Arrahan, 
From that perspective, you unite with others. You feel united with others. You merge with other fellow humans. You merge with other fellow friendly aliens. You remember your bigger essence. You remember unity. with spiritual beings of high vibration. We unite together from the heart space. There is a great silence when you shift there because the words are secondary there. The thoughts are secondary there. It's unity, silence and peace which dominates that space, that vibration. The green color the sound the far sound of the musical octave And as you shift higher in the fifth chakra, in the blue color, and as you shift higher in the third eye chakra, in the purple color, and as you shift higher to the crown chakra, and integrate all of these levels of higher spiritual activity, you unite with the whole planet, with the solar system, with other planets, and you start thinking, feeling, acting, evolving on a level of planets. It's all within you, within your reach, within your capacity. You unite be one with that level of the creation. And you love it, you feel it, you feed it with your love. And from that perspective, you realize that it's all yours, it's all part of you. The peace and wars, the positive, the negative, the light and the darkness, from that level, they are all just building blocks of the matrix, building blocks of the illusion of life, building blocks for the experience, building blocks for the playground where the spirits can grow, evolve, Socialize, play, pray, and self-discover, discover themselves. It is a playground where their creator mother discovers herself, creator father, creator daughter discover themselves. It's all valid. It's all valid. It's all part of you. It's all within your dream. From certain intermediate perspective, it's all valid. If you go lower in your vibration and your self-identification, 
then you feel that there is somebody outside of you who helps sometimes and sometimes gives you challenges. So there is, from certain perspective, intermediate. There is an adversary or multiple adversaries, and you are in the middle of play of bigger forces. The nature of the astrology, sometimes they can help, sometimes they can harm you, sometimes they can challenge you, and sometimes you become desperate because the forces around you are too big. But it's only from a certain intermediate perspective, not too high, not too low. You can already see the forces, but they are outside of you and they're bigger than you. But as you grow, as you shift your focus, spiritual focus higher and higher, you incorporate, integrate those energies and you value them as a part of life experience, as a part of the matrix, as a part of the grand illusion. They're all valid from certain perspective. Even the spirit of death is valid from a certain perspective. It's part of the matrix. It is programmed there and it is invaluable part of the illusion. The dark side of Kali. Kali. So I invite you to integrate all these levels of perception, higher and lower, level of creators, level of stars, level of star systems, level of planets, level of biosphere, level of humanity, level of countries, level of religions, going down to the city, the family, the social circle, and then finally back to your physical body. Integrate it all. It is a challenge, and you are up to this challenge. You are down here below for the purpose of integration. You are transforming the reality through yourself, through your meditation, through working on all of those levels, experiencing and working through the challenge. Experiencing and working through the challenges, integrating, integrating, integrating. I thank you for that work and I bless your integration. I bless your courage and ability to integrate. You are being helped by, but you are being helped from inside as you integrate the help is not from outside, it is from inside. We are all part of you. We are all one. Amen. I invite sharings, comments and questions. I have a question. Yay! The voice of Eva. Yes, it's kind of maybe strange question and thank you so much for talking to us thank you um, for listening <laughs> it seems like whoever is being channeled by Jean and also Karen except Gra Grandel the reptile the oh, can you speak closer to the series. microphone I missed it whoever is being channeling and okay. then I lost it so I have to do it like because I am outside Whoever is channeled um, by Jim or by Karen, yes, except yes. one being the, the friendly reptile, yes, is very serious. Nobody seems like um, what's how is sense of humor and higher dimension? Does it exist? Can you repeat the, the last part of the question closer to the microphone? Yes, I don't know where is the microphone on my phone. Uh, in the bottom. Okay. okay, thank you. 
the sense of humor exists in higher dimensions? The sense of what? Because everybody who of humor so, to us sense humor. 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 Ah, I got H. it. Finally, humor. Because everybody who talks to us from Jim, through Jim, and through Karen, except the rept uh, friendly reptile, is very serious. Very, very serious. I see. I see. Allah Allah Oh Allah <laughs> it's all just a question of translation. Much of the humor of the situation is lost in translation. And also, the questions which I discussed are perceived by humans as serious. So, if someone from above, physically above, from the space, makes jokes about that, they humans might be offended. So, it is traditional not to make jokes in such situations where misunderstanding is possible, because many of the aliens got to be diplomatic. So, in, when, you, when the language is not established, it's better to be serious, otherwise diplomatic errors might happen. Also realize, the humor is very culture-specific and vibration-specific. What is humor for gods, for humans, is, uh, could be felt, felt as a natural disaster. Like Milky Way Galaxy is one big joke. It makes the whole universe laugh. But uh, humans just don't understand the vibration of that joke yet. Humor is just another form of light. It's an oscillation. Ha, ha, ha. It's a periodic vibration. It's one vibration overlapping with another. It's a voice vibrated, modulated at certain lower frequency. Humans and animals and many aliens utilize humor to demonstrate a dimensional transition, dimensional shift, to demonstrate the veil which is broken. So a typical, a typical human joke is just a demonstration. Here is a veil. And here is, we're breaking it. Here we break it. We go through the veil. It is a typical human joke. Just take a veil and break it. And that breakage produces oscillation, vibration, which goes beyond, transdimensionally, beyond the veil. Do I understand that point? Hmm. Three people come into the bar of three different stereotypes whatever they are and then they break these stereotypes you understand and when they break the stereotypes the situation goes into higher dimension when you understand that stereotypes have been upgraded it's an upgrade it's transdimensional shift so a humor is a form of tiny ascension it's a model of tiny ascent tiny model of ascension hmm. A humor is another form of love and another form of light. So, when you feel a healing done through channeled meditation, through angelics, higher spiritual beings, manifestations, images of divine creator powers, 
it is another form of humor. It is also transdimensional. It's also all also unifying, integrating. So humor, the main function, the main essence, it is a vibration of love, and the main function is integration. So all of those, all of the above, they integrate. They work on integration through different ways. You cannot perceive it as humor sometimes, but it is it. It is just another form of love. When you feel warmth in your heart during the guided meditation, it is another form of humor, another form of healing. We smile when we speak to you. We shine with love when we speak to you. We understand the humor of the situation because you are as powerful as we are. You are as powerful as creator. Yet, you dream to be very weak and sick and challenged and trapped. It is funny. And just by smiling, we make peace with it and integrate you and us. We enter it with smiling and live with, with, with smiling. We enter your heart with a smile and live with a smile. It's all healing, all integrating, all funny. It's all a divine joke. We are bathing in this divine joke. And this is what is ultimately healing the matrix, healing the illusion of life, healing the grand illusion. It cannot be healed from its side. It has to be healed through a smile of the Creator. We are it. We work it. We manifest it. The upgrade, the elevation, the resolution of the challenges and upgrade of the challenges to the higher level. It's all one playground which is now being upgraded to a higher level. You graduate, you graduate, the playground graduates from level 3 to level 4 or whatever numbering system you want to use. Thank you for the question. It's a great question. Thank you so much for answering it. Allahayana o Mahayana o Rahana. Thank you for co-creation. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for reflecting, introspecting, integrating. Are there any more questions, or should we start wrapping up? I got one question. Yes. What's your name? Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Yes. Hi. Um, my question to you is, with humans creating all these wars, how can we ever evolve as a species? Take a deep breath. <sighs> mm hmm And now, I invite you to place again your palm on your heart and shift a little higher in your vibration and see, holla, 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 feel, holla, 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 feel the compassion, holla, 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 and feel that it is all right. Feel, take a perception, take a perspective, perceive it as part of the game, part of the upgrade. Realize that for many societies, the war is natural and it is a way of them of upgrading, releasing, It is our chakra work. Many humans are still very young. The souls incarnate and they upgrade to the third chakra. So they open up to the solar energy. They open up, they feel, they hear. Yeah. 
The Song of the Warriors. I need to mute someone. I will mute him. Okay. There is an echo. Okay. Now good. The fact that you notice them, the fact that you notice the words, signifies that you also have that vibration in yourself. Some humans who go beyond, they don't even notice the words. They don't even notice the politics. Because it is not their vibration. So the fact that you notice means you are partly it. You partly have the warrior in yourself. So accept that part of yourself. And now rise even higher in vibration. Go to your all four chakras. Heart, throat, third eye, crown. All of them. Integrate them and see it from their higher perspective. And realize it is not them, it is you. It's all within you, it's all a dream. And you are empowered to upgrade it all, to lift it up, to make peace, to bring peace, to breathe in peace into that model of reality, to that illusion. You are dreaming it. And all of us are within you, helping you to discover that power. It's not them, not the humans them. It's all you. You are the humanity. It's all within you. You are the fractal of humanity and humanity is a fractal of you. It's all convoluted, integrated, all one system. And you alone can heal it by yourself. It's all within you. Mm -hmm. I hold you responsible for healing it. <laughs> smile, smile, humor. Smile and heal it with a smile. It's all healable, curable, fixable, upgradable. It's all can be done. Mm -hmm. So step one, accept whatever it is. Step two, realize that from... There is always a certain perspective from which it is beneficial for the system. Even the complete self-destruction of the system from certain perspective is beneficial. Nothing is lost. It's all one big experiment. All one self-developing system with free will and consciousness and intelligence. Whatever it chooses, whatever you choose is valid. Validate it all. Then lift yourself up and realize it's all within your power to dream it up well, to dream it up to your perfect standards. You can do it. It takes practice, but it is doable. Practice on local things. Practice on your family, friends, social environment. You can change things outside of your body by meditating, by dreaming. It's all doable. Do your practical magic. Dream it well. Dream it the way you wish. It all is just prompts. At certain point, you can rise above the prompts and fix it all. And step four, smile, accept, smile. Be thankful for the experience. Now, when I say meditate, I don't require an necessarily that you would meditate by sitting or laying or in any specific position. You can meditate anytime, anywhere. You can integrate, integrate your meditation in your active life. You can be running and meditating at the same time. 
You can be working, speaking, fighting, cooking, anything, and meditating at the same time. It becomes second nature. You live two parallel lives, one as a physical being and another as a powerful creator spirit. You can integrate these two and be in two places at once and integrate, join them together. It's all possible. I invite you to be that. Physical and spirit merged together. One. United. Integrated. Unified. <laughs> Any more comments, questions? Uh, yes. Yes, thank you. Uh, I would like to have y your permission slips in order to connect with you. I'm you. I'm within you. Yes, you got uh, it. Uh, but how, how can I do that? It's, it's very hard for me to go through the meditation right now. Uh, I, I mean, deep meditation for me, it's, it's quite hard right now. How about shallow? What was that? How about shallow meditation? Deep meaning going very far. Shallow means very little. How about very little meditation? Oh, what do, what do, what do you mean by little? Uh, so, so, so sometimes the thoughts just keep coming. So just keep coming. I, I, it's very hard for me to concentrate. Oh, the shallow meditation is when you're doing something else like washing dishes or walking, taking mm -hmm. a walk, and mm -hmm. you meditate on the go, and you allow the thoughts to be in part of your brain while the focus of your attention shifts to the heart. And uh, the brain can keep thinking, but you can still meditate while your brain is thinking. Okay. It's the intention of meditation which matters. The intention to meditate, to connect to the spirit and value the spirit, value the connection, value the input from the spirit, value the union with the spirit. So you don't really have to go very deep for meditation. Okay. Start with shallow, meaning not deep. Uh, another question is how... Uh, what do you think if I uh, hold my breath and you know to open the rooms of my body? Open what? Uh, open the inner room of my body. Um, yes, holding your breath for a short while is fine, as long as it is healthy. Mm -hmm. Don't go too far. I okay. recommend maybe just skip one breath or two, a time of... Okay one or two breaths and while you're holding it listen to your heart and peace and quietness and as you tune into that quietness then you can carry it you resume your breath but you carry that sensation that connection to that stillness even your part of you is still breathing part of you is still thinking but you was able you just during this point of stillness you was able to Connect to it, and you hold on to it. And uh, your attention is still there. The focus of your attention is still in the stillness. And then you work from that point on. Okay, thank you. Uh, th uh, and uh, my qu another question is, why does my body get so skinny? What is your weight? Weight, uh, around 55 kg. Ah, and what's your height? Height, uh, around uh, 172 ah. or three, like that. Do you have a good digestion? Good digestion? Yeah. Uh, I, I have no idea, you may check my uh, digestion system. Are you healthy? Otherwise, 
what do you mean by healthy? Healthy in... means like, do you have health problems? Are you sick? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sick. Good. Uh, are you cooking? I'm not cooking. Okay, here is number one. Start cooking. Learn the art of cooking. Because when you cook it for yourself, you interact with the food in a meaningful way. So the body gets an opportunity to think about what you eat and energetically connect to the food in a better way. And also you need presence of women and children in your life in bigger extent. Uh, you mean by get married? No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Anyway, friends is sufficient, but be more in presence of healthy women and children of any ages. Okay. That would give you necessary energy. You are devoid of feminine energy, which needs is needed to recover your energy flow. Energy flow is a little, a little bit dry. So cooking and socializing with female friends would help. You mean uh, physically and or intimate? Yeah, being in presence of in the same room doing things together or outside doing things together with female friends. Okay. Uh, so what, what do you suggest? Uh, what, what kind of breath exercise you, you recommend me to do right Which now? Which breath you said? Breath ex exercise. Um, I mean the pr pranaya. Which kind of uh, pranaya ex ex exercise? A breath exercise. Yes. Hold on a second. Okay. Show me your palms. Yeah, yes. Can you put them closer to the camera so I can see the palms? Okay, got it. All right, thank you. Allah, 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 I am opening your palms energy. I'm uh, opening your left palm. Allah, 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 Allah. Opening your right palm. Allah, 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 Allah. Now put your palms on your heart. Allah, 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 Allah. So the exercise I would recommend to place your palm on your heart and stomach area in any way comfortable. And when you breathe deeply and consciously, send the energy to your heart area and intestines area and the stomach area. Uh, how about root chakra or a solar, uh, the third chakra or the second chakra? Uh, are, they, are, they, are they all healthy? I cannot see from for now, but let's start from the third and fourth chakra, and then you you are free to move around and concentrate on other chakras. You are okay. welcome to do that. But let's start from third and fourth. And as you breathe, breathe in deeply the energy from the universe. Breathe in, and when you breathe it out, send it through the palms into your heart and upper stomach. And press press gently on your stomach and heart area and send that energy. And that would be the breathing exercise. Use that pressure to send more energy and heal your upper stomach and the heart area. You need energization in that area and clearing of the blockages. So that exercise shall help in that direction. And then you can expand it and elaborate on that. So what kind of breath I could use? Uh, like, what kind of breath style? I'm not sure which is suitable for me. That's all I have for now. Um, 
we might work on that some other time. Okay. But what I gave you is should be sufficient for the starters. Okay, thank you. Any more questions before we finish? I'll give you the last final meditation for today. Relax. Now we'll meditate with your palms facing up. Relaxed, very relaxed, very relaxed. Place them on your knees or the table, whatever is comfortable. And this meditation is going to be on integration and acceptance. Allah, relax it comfortably, face your palms up. Allahumma. Smile. Find a smile within yourself and smile. It's all all right. All all right. All right. All is good. You are in a proper place. You're going through proper lessons, proper challenges. You're on a proper level. It's all acceptable, all good. Don't worry about anything right now. Just accept things as they are. Breathe deeply and consciously. Pay attention to your breathing. We are sending the energy from the universe, falling in your palms, into your hands. Accept it. The energy is yours. I am in your heart, and we are sending also the energy from the universe down in your palms, like the rain, the rain of goodness, the rain of happiness, the rain of joy. The rain of healing is coming in your palms. The answers. Don't bring up your questions, but the answer is already falling in your palms. They will be there in your body, in your flesh, in your tissues, in your spine, in your vibrations. The answers are already there. The upgrade programs are being downloaded through your palms. You are accepting the upgrade programs. When the time comes, during your sleep, you will receive these upgrades. They will be implemented, unraveled, unrolled, implemented. Allah Sent in the upgrades. Downloading the upgrades. Integrate. These are upgrades for integration. Now put your palms on your heart and close the circuit. Now your hands form the circuit. From your heart, throw your hands back to the heart. Repeat three times. I accept. I accept. I accept. With that, I leave you. Thank you for your acceptance. Thank you for your passion. Thank you for your openness. We thank you for reuniting with us. Have a good day. Blessed be your path.